Using my little finger, I wrap the yarn around the hook twice and then insert the hook into the stitch. I pull the yarn through and wrap it around the hook again to create a loop. This is called a yarn over and will be used for the increased stitches. Insert the hook into the stitch and pull the yarn through, creating a new stitch. Pull the yarn through two loops together to complete the stitch. This is single crochet. And you will create a total of eight short row stitches for this round. After completing each stitch, tighten the loops on the hook to cinch up the stitches. Pay attention to the yarn that is actively moving and pull on the corresponding loop to tighten it. Find the position of the first stitch, which is a V-shape. Insert the hook into the fabric and pull the yarn through, creating a slip stitch. This completes the first round. Round 2. In the first stitch, crochet to sh single crochet, which is one increase. Crochet each such stitches in total for this round. Making a total of 16 stitches. From the 3rd to 8th rounds, crochet 16 single crochet in each round. After completing the 8th round, cut the yarn and secure it with a yarn needle. The completed big white goose mouth is now complete. The first round consists of six single crochet after pulling the yarn tightly. Find the position of the first stitch and make a slip stitch to complete the first round. The second round consists of three sets of a shingle crochet and an increase, totaling nine stitches. Finally, find the position of the first stitch and make a slip stitch to complete the round.
From the third to tenth rounds, crochet nine single crochet in each round. After completing each round, find the position of the first stitch and make a slip stitch to complete the round. The 11th round consists of 3 sets of 2 single crochet and an increase, totaling 12 stitches. After completing the round, find the position of the first stitch and make a slip stitch to complete the round. The twelfth round consists of six sets of a single crochet and an increase, totaling 18 stitches. After completing the round, find the position of the first stitch and make a slip stitch to complete the round. The 13th round consists of 6 sets of 2 single crochet and an increase, totaling 24 stitches. After completing the round, find the position of the first stitch and make a slip stitch to complete the round. The 14th and 15th rounds are the same as the 13th round.
After completing the 15th round, stuff the crocheted piece with cotton and fold it in half. The first stitch of the 16th round is a single crochet increase. The second stitch. Crochet half double crease. Wrap the yarn and insert the hook into the stitch. Draw up the loop and pull it through at once. The third stitch is a single crochet increase. And the fourth stitch is a slip stitch. Then in the fifth stitch, crochet a single crochet increase. In the sixth stitch, crochet a half double crochet. And in the seventh stitch, crochet a single crochet increase. After the slip stitch, crochet two more sets to complete the foot of the big white goose. To begin crocheting the body of the big white goose. Wrap the yarn around twice and make a starting chain of six single crochet. Draw the yarn tightly through the loops and find the position of the first stitch to make a slip. Stitch. The second round consists of six sets of short increases, totaling 12 stitches. Find the position of the first stitch and make a slip stitch to complete the round. The third round consists of a single crochet increase and six sets of 18 stitches, totaling 24 stitches. 
Find the position of the first stitch and make a slip stitch to complete the round. The fourth round consists of a combination of single crochet stitches and increases. The pattern is one single crochet, one increase, and one single crochet repeated six times. After the last set, there is one single crochet, totaling 24 stitches. From the 5th to the 13th rounds, each round consists of 24 single crochet. Please note that this has been omitted from the description for brevity. The 14th round consists of 2 single crochet and a decrease, with 6 sets in total and 18 stitches. The decrease is executed by inserting the hook into the loop, threading it through the outer half of the stitch, and then threading it through the next outer half of the following stitch, while all three loops are pulled through together. The 15th round consists of for single crochet and a decrease with 3 sets in total and 15 stitches.
From the 16th round to the 23rd round, there are 15 single crochet in each round. The 24th round consists of first single crochet and an increase, with 3 sets in total and 18 stitches after completing the round. Locate the position of the first stitch and make a slip stitch to complete the round. The 25th round consists of two single crochet and an increase, with 6 sets in total and 24 stitches. After completing this round, the crocheting for this section is finished. The 26th round consists of 24 single crochet. The 27th round consists of 3 single crochet and an increase, with 6 sets in total and 30 stitches.
The 28th and 29th rounds both involve crocheting single crochet with 30 stitches in each round. The 30th round consists of for single crochet and an increase. With 6 sets in total and 36 stitches, the 31st and 32nd rounds both consist of 2 single crochet, 36 stitches each. The 33rd round consists of 5 single crochet and an increase, with 6 sets in total and 42 stitches. From the 34th to the 43rd rounds, each round consists of 42 single crochet. Without further explanation, the 44th round starts with 5 single crochet and a decrease, with 6 sets in total and 36 stitches after completing this round. The 45th and 46th rounds each consist of 36 single crochet. The 47th round consists of for single crochet and a decrease, with 6 sets in total and 30 stitches. Then the 48th and 49th rounds each consist of two single crochet with 30 stitches each. The 50th, 51st, and 52nd rounds all consist of six sets of three single crochet and a decrease, resulting in a total of 24 stitches in each round. The 53rd round consists of two single crochet, followed by a decrease, 
with six sets in total and 18 stitches. The 54th round and 55th round consists of 18 single crochet. The 56th round consists of one single crochet and one decrease, with six sets in total and 12 stitches. This round will form the top of the pouch. Please remember to stuff the cotton before closing. After completing the 56th round, stuff the cotton and then fold the crocheted piece in half. After folding, the 57th round consists of six single crochet. The 58th round consists of six sets of double crochet creases plus a starting stitch, totaling 13 stitches. After completing this round, the yarn is cut and the body of the big white goose is finished. Next, we will crochet the wings of the big white goose. Begin by making a circular cast on, and then crochet six single crochet. After tightening the yarn, locate the position of the first stitch, and make sure to press down the tail of yarn that was left behind. The second round consists of six single crochet increases, totaling 12 stitches. After completing this round, locate the position of the first stitch and make a slip stitch to secure the join.
The third round consists of one single crochet and one increase, with six sets in total and 18 stitches. From the 4th to 6th rounds, each round consists of 18 single crochet. The 7th round consists of 2 single crochet, 7 single crochet, 1 single crochet decrease, and 7 single crochet, totaling 19 stitches. The eighth round consists of 19 single crochet. The ninth round consists of one single crochet decrease, seven single crochet, two decreases, and six single crochet, totaling 18 stitches. Finally, make a slip stitch to secure the join and make a yarn over to begin the next round. The tenth round consists of one decrease, six single crochet, one increase, and seven single crochet, totaling 18 stitches. The eleventh round consists of seven single crochet, two increases, and seven single crochet, totaling 18 stitches.
The twelfth round consists of one single crochet, decrease, and sixteen single crochet, totaling seventeen stitches. The thirteenth round consists of eight single crochet after folding. Starting from the 14th round, crochet to chain stitch, followed by a half double crochet and a double crochet, then crochet to more chain stitch, and make a slip stitch to secure the join. The next stitch is a double crochet increase, followed by two more chain stitch, a slip stitch to secure the join, and then two more more chain stitch. The next stitch is a double crochet, followed by a half double crochet, and finally to chain stitch. Secure the join with a slip stitch, and complete the row by breaking the yarn. The wings of the big white goose are now completed. Repeat the above steps to complete the other wing of the big white goose. Finally, use a yarn needle or glue to assemble the big white goose, and you can obtain the complete crocheted big white goose.